Aloha gang, we just got a ton of kamakas in. We're gonna go and review each of them by size. So check them out. We got a kamaka HP1 and standard pineapple size ukulele. And you know, what's really cool and special about this model is that they were the first people to make the pineapple shaped ukulele. So let's, let's go ahead and give it a listen. Got a standard HF1 soprano, and this is this is also known as the standard size because it was the only one available back then. Now you have concert and tenor. Anyways, this is all solid coral wood, rosewood bridge fretboard, beautiful kamaka inlay with pearl on the headstock, goto tuners from the factory. These are special um, kamaka only. Buttons. You can only get them on Kamakas. Anyways. Brian has all the licks, man. <laughs> all these chords. Why don't we play that for the duet? Um, with Hen Hen or or No Pai Pai? Um, or is it what yeah, chord progression are we playing now? Just that. What do you guys like about the soprano? Side? The soprano sound. Like, yeah, it's it has like that old ukulele sound. Yeah, it just has that twangy sound, but it's like. This to me is like the sound of the ukulele. I know everyone's used to playing the tenor size or the baritone or the concert size, but the original size of the ukulele was around this size. And it's just really fun. Um, it has like a twangy kind of sound, but that's not, it's not a bad thing, but it's just really bright, cheerful, yeah, after happy sounding. Yeah. For so long, going back to the soprano. It, when you hear tenor, you hear the mature, more mature sound, but this is very and... just happy. Yeah. Sound. But it's always like playing it. Uh, for some reason, I can't really get that on a tenor for some reason just very bright cheerful and you know i'm like 20 million times bigger than soprano it <laughs> it's 40 so million fun times to play bigger. i understand why you know the, the purists want to just play a soprano you can still get away with the most authentic sound would be what a soprano's ukulele would yeah would, definitely would make, yeah, so. what's good about these a lot of sopranos the fretboard gets cut off at the 12th fret. Kamaka gives you the option to play it all the way up here if you mm -hmm. need it, you know. Like that high C.
So here we got the Kamaka HP1L model. So it's a standard soprano Kamaka. Um, we got a standard size body, but we got the concert size neck. So when we have a soprano size ukulele, typically from the nut to the saddle, it's about 13 and a half inches. But for this one, we have a concert scale length, meaning that from the nut to the saddle is 15 inches. So you get a little more frets, you know, you get more playing room, you know, people really like the sound of the soprano body. You can get this, but then you have more playability because the frets are more spread out. You have more frets, you know, going down the fretboard, so. So let's give it a sound sample. I have a beautiful Kamaka long neck soprano. The model number is HF1L. And it's a soprano with a concert neck on it, concert scale length. Standard sopranos are 13 and a half inches from nut to saddle. Um, this one's 15 inches, so with a longer scale length, you get increased string tension, which results in uh, better string sustain, an overall fuller sound. And an overall uh, better responsive sound. It's uh, a little more punchier and fuller than a standard soprano. Uh, the playability is better on these if you have larger hands because with the concert neck you have wider fret spacings that allows you to do more complex chords and uh, help you navigate the fretboard a little better. So, anyways, let's check it out. So we have a Kamaka Concert model HF2 here. Um, we got a 15 inch scale length, 16 total frets, 12 frets to the body. Um, what's really special about this model for me personally is that this is the very first Kamaka size slash model that I got when I was younger. So it um, has a lot of good memories. Um, 
What's really special about this concert is that the headstock is different than the other sizes. You have almost this kind of hook-like shape on the top. And that was my deciding factor in getting the concert size over the tenor because I always thought the headstock was really cool. So let's go ahead and give this a sound sample. Here I have a beautiful HF2L, this is a long neck concert, and it's the concert body with the tenor scale length. So one thing I really like about this model is the size of the body. I play tenor primarily, and the, the left hand is very comfortable. Sometimes holding the tenor body can be a little tricky, you know, you have to adjust your positioning and stuff. Um, with this, the concert body just fits in perfectly. And my hand where it rests, it it's in that strumming position naturally and it, it feels really good to just hold and play. Um, you get the same kind of effect with the, the long neck soprano, where it's more of a punchier and responsive tone with uh, better string sustain. Um, and yeah, you get such a really ear with this model. There's a little more to the sound, which is great. So. Uh, yeah, check it out. Really no introduction here. This is the Kamaka tenor ukulele. Um, really nice koa wood all around. Nice curly koa wood on the top. Well, I shouldn't say curly koa, but just look at all the curls. Um, you know, snake wood shaller tuners or shaller tuners. Um, yeah, let's just let's take a listen to it.
in my hands I have an HF3L. This is the tenor long neck. And instead of the 17 inch scale length, this is 19. This is what the old school baritones used to be until they switched over to 20 inch. Um, and it's the same same thing you get with the long neck soprano in concerts. You just get a little bit more tone, a little more sustain. You get really, it's, it's noticeable brightness, which is, which is good if you like that kind of sound. But still, that nice, warm, um, responsive core sound you get, especially from this, you know, from a kamaka. So. This um, particular instrument works well with finger picking because you get that extra string sustain, it works well with uh, campanella type stuff. Or anything you want to play. This thing is very versatile. And another thing, it's not 14 frets to the body anymore. It's 15. So you got, you got, you can do the whole C chord right here. It's still very comfortable to, to hold that. Not uh, a lot of scenarios where you'd use that, but, you know, you have that option. That was cool. The, the fret spacings are wider, so if you need to hit any of the higher notes, it comes out really clear. Nice, yeah, that was a lot of feel. So here we have a beautiful Kamaka six string ukulele. Um, fun fact about Kamaka ukulele and the six string is that they created the very first six string ukulele all the way back uh, many, many years ago. And this is considered to be the original six string tuning. Um, the good thing about six strings or having six strings on an ukulele is that you can get really creative with how you want to double up on the strings. Usually you'll take two of the strings and double it, double up the strings, meaning like you'll have one lower octave and then one higher octave, or you'll have two similar octaves. You know, it's like two two uh, similar sounding E's or two similar sounding G's. But you can pretty much get really fancy with any of the doublings of the strings. But this one is the original, you know, low and high C and low and high A. Although six strings ukuleles aren't really used for picking, it can be done, um, but I like to think of six strings ukuleles as a strumming kind of ukulele, and it's very synonymous with a lot of Hawaiian music. So let's go ahead and give this a sound sample.
Very nice. Oh, yeah. You guys got a really nice eight string Kamaka here. And uh, you can do a lot of things with this type of tuning. Uh, the configuration is high G, low G, high C, low C, then double E and double A. So what I like to do is I like to get a lot of different kinds of um, sounds through finger picking. And not a lot of people do finger picking, but when you do it, it sounds really interesting. There's like a nice chorus effect you get with the, with the notes. Adds a little more to the, the overall sound on the instrument. A lot of people just do, um, you know, Hawaiian traditional. Which is fine. Sounds great. But I like to do stuff like this. So here we got Kamaka HF4, baritone ukulele. Um, it's a lot of wonderful things about having a baritone size ukulele. Um, if you're a guitar player, this is the perfect size to transition into playing ukulele if you want to do that. Or for ukulele players wanting to transition to playing guitar, this is really good because you're literally just playing or it's tuned like the bottom four strings of a guitar. So you can get comfortable playing this and then you can transition to the guitar. And again, vice versa. You can transfer guitar into ukulele. So, um, you know, we had D, G, what's the tuning? D, B, E. B, E. Yeah. D, G, B, E. D, G, B, E tuning. So, again, the bottom four strings of a guitar, of a standard tuning guitar. So, we get a really deep, warm. You know, so people looking for that really, gosh, earthy, deep, low resonance it can ring for days and maybe the baritone is the right size for you so i'll go ahead and give a, give a sound sample so. Thank you. 